Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another Farming Simulator 25 Tips and Tricks video. Today, we're going to talk about the two construction missions that are on Riverbend Springs and what it takes to complete those as far as various products you need to bring to the construction site, how long it's going to take, and then, well, ultimately, what does it look like when it's all said and done? So here we are down at the Grain Elevator Museum. And as you can probably tell, we have completely restored this museum to its past glory. Now this museum also has all the collectibles put inside it. Although I haven't been able to figure out how to go inside or even if you can go inside. If we walk up to a door, well, we don't get triggers to open the door, but there are apparently triggers at these doors. So I don't know if maybe these doors open at some point in time, but we can see inside here and we can see that we are now, well, we now have stuff in there. So the museum collectibles have been put into the museum. We just don't seem to have the ability to go into it. And if anyone figures out how to get into it, well, I'd love to hear down in the comments below. What do you need to bring to this museum? Well, you need to bring wooden beams, planks, roof plates, boards, prefab walls, cement, and cement bricks. Now, when I say planks, I mean long planks, and boards are basically planks, okay? So it's a little confusing there, but that's basically how the fill types are named in the XML, and that's how I have them written down here. You're going to need to bring 36,000 liters of wooden beams, 72,000 liters of planks, 12,000 liters of roof plates, 48,000 liters of boards, 12,000 liters of prefab walls, 6,000 liters of cement bags, and 6,000 liters of cement bricks. And all of that is going to be required over the course of about a year and four months. That's basically about how long it's going to take to produce this particular building. So what we're going to do now is we're going to roll back time and start a time lapse of this thing doing its stuff for the next year and four months. And while that time lapse is running, I'm going to talk a little bit more about how you actually make all of the inputs that are required for this particular production. Restoring the museum will require access to the sawmill and the cement factory. The miniature sawmill will not do because you can't make prefab walls. But thankfully, if you wanted to, you could buy the prefab walls or any or all of the items from the warehouse. But that can get fairly expensive fairly quick. The sawmill will require logs as its only input and the cement factory on Riverbend Springs is in a great location because the dredge is right beside it with a limitless supply of stones. Just set up a conveyor belt to move the stones from the heap into the production input and you've got yourself an automatic cement factory. With your excess planks, long planks, you could send them to the cooper for buckets, bathtubs, and barrel production or send them to the carpentry for furniture. You're going to need furniture for the buildable farmhouses if you want to go down that route. Then there's also the wagon builder as well as the playground maker. But you just might want to hold on to all those beams and both types of planks for a larger project that we'll get to later. Thank you. 
And there we have it, folks. So the trigger has gone away. That signifies that the structure has now been completely built. Approximately one year and four months later. Like I said, we're not sure. I'm not sure why we can't go in. All the doors are locked. I've tried every single door. Now it's possible we still are in pre-release. So it's possible that giants, like they gave us a surprise for our second construction mission. It's quite possible maybe we get a day one update that actually lets us go in these doors. Because if we already have the collectibles, if we've gone around and found all the collectibles, then I would think that we should be able to make our way into the museum and uh, and see those collectibles within the museum walls, right? So it's a little bit of a shame that we can't do that at this point, but maybe that's going to change in the future. If you know how to get into the museum, please let me know down in the comments below. And with that, let's go build out our pirate ship playground. Surprise! So it's it's maybe a little, little less melodramatic because, well, you've already seen this in the thumbnail. But this is the pinnacle of the two construction missions that are on Riverbend Springs. And that is you're making a pirate ship over here at the playground facility, which is where the toy maker is located. So we initially heard this was a rope park. Ha ha ha! Giants pulled a fast one on us. It's not. We've not seen this anywhere in any photographs in this condition. We've seen something half built that made us think that it was a rope park, but it's not. It's a giant playground, and we can come in here and we can explore, which is super, super cool. We have tunnels. We've got they're not really slides because they got these these stair steps to help us get grip. Right? And well, I haven't been able to to get all the way up to the top. At any rate, right, we can explore. We got multiple levels. There's more down here. Around the back. Oh, it's it's just super. Now this thing takes Approximately three and a half years to build. Like I said, it is the pinnacle of the two construction missions that we have here on Riverbend Springs. And to that end, we're going to have to bring a massive amount of product to this construction site. We're going to have to bring approximately 162,000 liters of wooden beams, 90,000 liters of planks, 126,000 liters of rope, 90,000 liters of boards, and 12,000 liters of fabric in order to complete out this awesome monster pirate ship playground area that may or may not have collisions in all the right places. Don't worry about that. Any rate, we just saw the time lapse on building out the museum. Now let's do a time lapse on building out this bad boy and we'll also break down again what you need in order to make the wooden beams, planks, rope, boards, and fabric in order to get this thing built. Just like the museum, the beams, long planks, and regular planks will require the sawmill, and the sawmill will require logs as inputs. Rope and fabric will require either a good supply of cotton or wool from your sheep. And I'm talking about a lot of wool for all that rope.
And there we go, folks. Just under three and a half years. We started in December. Now it's March. Three and a few months later. We've got a pirate ship that has been attacked by octopus. So we have octopi arms circling up around the cactus or around the pirate ship. We've got the good old pirate red beat. Flags there going on. Sails are curled up. You got the walkway. Oh, this is just totally cool. Totally cool construction mission down here at the Hoy Maker. So guys, let me know what you think down in the comments below of this specific video. If you like it, I'll probably be putting out another video about the temple build over on Hutan Pantai. Now that's a massive construction project. I don't even know how many years that's gonna take. My guess is gonna be like six years. And it's going to take a pretty good long time to make that video because when I fast forward, the best I can do is about one game year per real life hour. So that's at least a six hour video to, uh, to get that recorded up and everything. So let me know down in the comments below if you like this video. If you didn't like the video, that's fine. Um, but I think I'll probably be putting together a temple video maybe later toward the end of the week just to give more folks a chance to watch this one and uh let me know if you like the format or not until next time happy farming <laughs>